Jason Cross masquerading as the green guy, for lack of a better term, in order to get in the, under the skin of Phoenix. And he certainly did just that. And Phoenix and Cross have yet to resolve anything. And this is a feud that's getting way out of control here in the season. Well, it was at Fright Night 2002. I mentioned earlier in the broadcast that John Phoenix defeated Jason Cross with the help of a roll of coins from Jeff G. Bailey. But this issue is far from resolved. These former best friends, Scott Porter, rival, have got a lot left to settle here. Now Salvatore Renaro in the ring with Jason Cross. The Irish whip. Renaro catches Cross. Irish whip of his own. He comes back. Jason Cross catches Renaro and slams him down. Nose first. Well, at least he literally lands flat on his face. And a tug of the goatee. And just clocking him right on the ear, perhaps the temple. And Salvatore Renaro is totally in loopy land. A place he's been to fairly regularly, even when he's not wrestling. Good grief. Jason Cross continues, continues the assault. Perhaps Jason Cross is confusing Salvatore Renaro with a, with a football. Jason Cross. Hoisting Renaro up in the air, going for a brain buster. Renaro counters that, rolls him through. He's a cross off the ropes now. Brain buster on the Salvatore Renaro. Of course, no loss there. No, not a whole lot. After a brain buster, Salvatore Renaro manages to get his shoulder up. Why he wants more punishment is rather beyond me. But as we delve into the mind of Mr. Renaro, and believe me, that's one short trip, you have to wonder what exactly is going through his brain other than the boots of the role model, Jason Cross. He's proven time and time again that he's a very tough little bastard. Charges in two more boots. Renaro catches Jason Cross. Look at this. Oh, good grief. A powerful and positive maneuver, courtesy of Salvatore Renaro. A reverse mention Oku driver by Sal Renaro. Boy, Sal on all of his 192 pounds. Can you believe that? 192 pounds? I just say what they tell me. Don't believe his press agent. I'm hired help. Renaro going to the top. Picture perfect elbow drop. I think Jason Cross as well as Errol, all the, the, uh, the faithful here at the NWA Arena have totally underestimated Mr. Renaro. That bear takeover, Rick Chinlock. Applied by Sal Renaro. Sal is cinching it in. Kind of hard to believe I'm saying that. I don't think he's ever cinched it in. We'll leave that one alone. Damn straight. Renaro back on the offensive. And a none too subtle choke on the role model. It's going for twosies. And I think Jason Cross has to be completely bewildered by this display of powerful offense from Salvatore Renaro. I mean, the rain, the rain on Mr. Renaro is paraded, but if he keeps his offense up and keeps it a little bit more consistent and a little quicker, I think we might be seeing an upset in the making. Right now, the only thing upset is the back of the head of Mr. Renaro. The role model signaling for perhaps the good old 450. Now Renaro's to his feet. Crosses Jason Cross on the top row. Going to Renaro meant to do that. Salvatore Renaro, an athlete considered a joke for most of his wrestling career, 
is now, he, he's either gone off the deep end or he's shown what he's made of either way. Look at Jason. Oh, good grief. Somersault reverse double underhook face buster. Can I get you some oxygen, Dan? By the role model. And if it wasn't for that bottom rope, I believe Cross would have nailed this one. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. I gotta say, I, I'm impressed. Well, we all know what a fan now. Jason Cross, that sour Norris, heavens! And at the back, Bernard is a prime uncle. Oh, good heavens! Running, shooting, start. Foot on the ropes again. I would think if I was Salvatore Renard, I'd like this match over with right now. Thank all that is holy that I'm not Salvatore Renard. And Sal, gamely fighting back. Suplex by the role model Jason Cross. And Sal ain't moving. Shooting score leg drop. 